Hey vlog, um, welcome back. So this is gonna be my first video of vlog number six. So I wanted to show uh, part of my pre-workout meal. Um, so I just air fried some chicken breast and um, I almost said zucchini, asparagus. So that's what's in here. And I'm gonna top it with the Flavor Gang Sweet Poppy. This is one of the most popular flavors. I know it, it tastes like a honey mustard, so it goes really great on chicken. So I am going to drizzle a little bit of this on here. And there's, um, here's the macros if anybody's interested. It is only 10 calories, um, just like any light mustard, very, like obviously you don't wanna dump it on, but um, it's prep friendly. Uh, believe me, the guy that owns it is in prep himself and he's a pro, so I'm gonna drizzle this on here not really gonna look much different just a bunch of drizzled yellow now my rice and avocado um i like to put separate and i mix it all together it doesn't look very appetizing right um just green rice um like to me i think avocado tastes really good and it's like got that like green butter taste to it um i don't know but i put it in a little bowl and i mix it together and then this is where it gets weird, but um, I put stevia on it. So there's uh, stevia in here. If you guys haven't been able to figure out, I have a huge sweet tooth. Um, so yeah, I put the uh, stevia in there and then I put a couple of the drops of uh, one of my skinny syrups. And you're wondering, ooh, that sounds gross, but it tastes like a dessert. So it's one of my pleasures in life here. So um, yeah, I put that in a little bowl. So along with the chicken, asparagus, rice and avocado, and then I have a tortilla. And you might wonder why don't I just try to make, you know, chicken wrap tortillas or something. But I like food. I like to keep things like kind of separate. So it feels like I'm eating more because I like to eat. Um, but again, you know, with, with stevia and then low calorie sauces, um, this is just what I like. Now, uh, when I'm in prep, I do kind of cut back as much as I can on some of that kind of stuff. Just, it's just, you know, it's just, I know it sounds so weird, but it's just what I do. It could be, it could be a lot worse, guys. I could be eating, I could be cheating on my diet, okay? These are my food hacks. So I'm going to, um, also don't want to forget pink salt. A little pink salt on my meals always and um yeah i'm going to be finishing up work here and then heading heading to the gym for delts so i'm sure me and sarah will get some um footage of that um also i'm going to these are my eaas like a pro I'm gonna put a half scoop of this uh, pump product in with it. Also, these are from Phase Up Nutrition. So, some of my favorite products, especially EAAs, definitely. Especially um, the Leica Pro. It's just very good ingredients. Um, I don't know all the fancy words, but it is a pricier company. Uh, it's a pricier um, product but that's because there's more value in it. Um, I haven't opened this one yet, but this is the other flavor I have. It's brand new. So yeah, there's uh, no artificial coloring, um, no fillers. It is just a very good product. So again, I, I'm not a big supplement person, but when it comes to EAAs, I love them. I'm not a huge pre-workout person, but I have a few of those. Um, again, Phase Up Nutrition, page 10, we have a website discount um it is a small local owned business so um always appreciated you're giving back to um you know the owner Vinny is a great guy and when you you know help small businesses out especially nowadays you know i would always rather you know give my money and attention to a smaller company um company or store that's how i feel so again i'm gonna eat my food before it gets cold because nobody wants to eat cold food unless it's like prep and you just will eat anything uh, but this is off season so all right i'll see you guys in the next clip
Good morning vlog. It is April 7th, Thursday. Just did check-ins with my coach. We are weighing at 153.8. Last week was 152. And while I know that sounds like a pretty big jump, um, we had a cheat meal last weekend. Um, Cami decided we were gonna just add a little bit of food, um, which I will show you. All we did was add three pieces of turkey bacon to meal one. Um, and then I also still have my two pieces of toast. So that is gonna be my meal one that I'm about to eat. Um, so we, I think I briefly talked about the mini cut that I plan to do next month. So um, yeah, we've got about two and a half weeks left of April. Um, and then we will be going into the month of May and we will do a mini cut. So when we get to that point, I will explain more detail. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do a mini cut. We're at peak off season and, uh, my birthday is June 3rd and I'm going on a trip. So I figured this would be a great time to kind of tighten up for my birthday and, uh, you know, go from there. Now I don't, uh, I don't hate how I look. Um, yes, I feel a little more watery. I'm not bloated, it's like watery. Um, but like I see shape and that's just off season, right? Um, my body just holds on to more body fat, lower body, so I definitely have a bigger booty and bigger thighs. Um, but I still, you know, in my shoulders and stuff, I feel full with lines. Um, I wear my waist trainer. This is an extra, extra, extra small. And um, it's tighter, but I can still breathe uh, and move around. And I actually like wearing my waist trainer, especially for work. So um, yeah, it helps me stay upright in posture so I don't have any shoulder pain. So yeah, like I said, waist trainer still feels great. I don't feel like... Um, biscuits exploding out of a cam uh, so we'll take that as a win now i also have a black waist trainer that i wear to the gym sometimes which is just an extra small a little looser um so there's that uh yeah so i'm gonna eat my breakfast and i'm just working on some things here working on some mother's day advertising for work again i do grocery store advertising and I work from home, so um, I have a coworker out today and tomorrow, so I'm hoping that things don't get too busy today or tomorrow. Yesterday was super busy. Uh, Wednesdays are just always work-wise crazy. Um, and then I'm also actually, well, it went dark because I'm cooking my breakfast, but I'm watching the uh, bro chat with Fuad, so I've got my podcast going on over here. So... Yeah, this is just my little work setup over here that I'm doing. Um, today is going to be another leg day with some squats and stuff. So um, that will be later on. And then also it'll be a day where I get extra berries post-workout. So I always look forward to that. So before my food gets cold, I'm going to eat it. Um, also, it's topped with Heinz ketchup. So that's the best. And then on my toast, I sprinkle um, Splenda. I sprinkle a little Splenda on that bitch. And then on the eggs, there's the ketchup, like I said, with um, salt and pepper and then the little onion chips, like whatever those are. I don't even know. Minced onions, dried up, whatever. It tastes good. So, yeah, let's uh, get this day started. It's still early and I can hear the birds out. So, yay for spring. I think today is going to have some nicer weather for once, so hopefully I don't jinx it, but I'll see you in the next clip.
vlog. It is April 8th. It's a Friday. I just got done with work, just got done with the gym, and uh, I decided to go to Planet Fitness today. It's gross and rainy, like it's been for the last like week. Um, kind of gloomy, but you know, yeah, it kind of affects the mood. Um, but honestly, like, I feel good up in the head, you know, like I've got energy and everything. Um, it's just like my body feels a little fatigued. Like I've just been like pushing my whole body in the gym, like consistently. And yes, I still have my two uh, rest days on Wednesday and Sundays, but uh, lately it's just, um, I think I'm just going really hard at the gym. I think right now in my life, like the gym is just everything. <laughs> like, not that it's like, it's, that's never changed or stopped or anything, but you know, when there's a time in, in life where, I mean, I'm not really uh, doing much else but work in the gym. And sometimes it's like, you know, I, I need other thing. I need another outlet. Maybe I need a vacation. I don't know, but I'm like going to be really busy next month. So like, that's not going to happen. Um, but then again, like maybe the change of environment will help me because I, I'm going to be dog sitting two different places next month. And then I'm going to be also really busy working the uh, Pittsburgh championship show. So <sighs> I got a lot going on. Um, my friend Sarah that I work out with, you know, she suggested a deload week, but like I've never really done that. And um, my coach has never, I, honestly, I've never had a coach give me a deload week. So I don't, I don't even know what that would even look like from my coach's perspective. And like, I could bring it up, but I feel like I've kind of like brought that up before, just like I'm exhausted. And she says like, I give you a non-training day meal plan. So if there's a day that I can't go to the gym or maybe my body just doesn't want to, I think she'll just tell me to just follow my non-training day meal plan, which I don't know if you guys know or not, but if I've mentioned it, but so my meal plan, she gives me um, like a high carb day. There's um, like a moderate, just like a normal like meal plan. And then there's like the non-training meal plans that I follow like on Wednesdays and Sundays for my rest days that are just slightly less calories. So she would probably just tell me to do that. Um, she did, uh, respond back to check-ins so no changes um she did kind of make a comment that she thinks that I might have like ate a little much on my uh my cheat meal last Saturday but like I've had way more food before so I kind of I don't know I guess she was a little concerned that my weight uh jumped up a little bit high um but I mean I've got some like hormones and I like I just said I'm pretty uh fatigued and exhausted so Maybe that's like, uh, I mean, I tried to tell her that I'm tired, but you know, I can only convey so much through words and everything. And honestly, it's just follow the plan. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I just follow a plan, right? So yeah, I went to the gym. I feel better. I never regret a workout. I'm tired, but you know, is what it is. I'm going to, uh, go home this evening, relax. Um, gonna, I've got two more meals left. I'm going to watch some anime. I found a new one last night that I'm really into at the moment and it's super cute. It's like a super romancy one. I love romance anime. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know what it's called. I just, I saw something, read the description. I'm like, I I'll give it a try. And when it comes to anime, like I try to look at the reviews and stuff. And like, if I'm not like paying attention through the entire episode one and like, try to give episode two a chance if I'm not like sticking with it which I usually can tell I'll just pass um which is really rare but it, I've had anime where I'm just like nope I'm, I'm losing interest already this isn't good I'm gonna move on and not waste my time so I don't know crunchy roll doesn't really fail me much I'm it's pretty like cr crunchy roll is definitely worth it if you're in the anime and want like more variety Netflix only has so much Netflix has good anime but they only have so much um so yeah, I like I like to watch Crunchyroll, especially when they get the new anime and they can get it out faster. And they're pretty quick about putting the um, the English subtitles, which I don't mind subtitles. I actually prefer subtitles, which is weird because I really hate reading. But some reason, like subtitles are like since it's like a sentence, like I I can pretty much keep like an attention span for that, and I can follow like you know read along. Um, so like that I like. 
Um, I don't like reading books. I don't like long paragraphs. I like visuals. So maybe that's the difference in why I like uh, subtitle anime. Some people just don't like that at all. Um, and like there's only certain anime that I like that I can actually stay focused with uh, when it's English. Because if you've watched anime and how dramatic it can be, um, there's just a lot of uh, English voice actors that it just is like so weird to me. I'm just like, no, it's better in Japanese. It just fits the culture better. So that is why I prefer Japanese. I don't really know much Japanese except for a couple phrases and that's about it. So like, just so you know, I don't know how to speak Japanese, but I like listening to it. <laughs> Maybe because I'm, I'm so used to it too. I mean, I've been listening to Japanese music and stuff since I was a kid and um, I've been to Japan twice. So really I that stuff doesn't bother me but now that I just went on an anime rant for like two minutes sorry about that for anybody that doesn't care but like I said my body's tired I'm wired in the head so I'm like ready to go but um I'm gonna go home and get some sleep and stuff too because tomorrow is the um Pittsburgh posing seminar which I will be going to and uh I'm hoping to get some footage if I don't I apologize but yeah tomorrow's a posing seminar and then Sonic the Hedgehog 2 just came out. I kind of want to go see that movie by myself. So we'll see if I can fit that in tomorrow evening. And then Sunday, I've got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, at the end of the night will be a podcast. So I probably won't do any filming on Sunday. But uh, I, got, I got all kinds of stuff going on on Sunday. So my weekend's busy. I feel like it's going to be already Monday. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's pretty much a quick little update here while I'm sitting here in the Planet Fitness parking lot. Like I said, go home, relax, anime, and call it an evening. So I'll check in with you guys later. So I just wanted to show my post-workout meal. This is gonna be some rice check cereal with cinnamon. I have strawberries with cinnamon. And then <laughs> this hot mess of egg whites is salt and pepper, um, I put some uh, chipped onion things in there and then takeout sauce, flavor gain. This is uh, one of my favorites. I really like it on egg whites. It's like sweet and hot. Um, not like super hot. It's got like a mild hot to it, but it's really good and I like it on my egg whites. Um, so I drizzled that on there and stirred it around. Like I said, salt and pepper. Um, so with my cereal, I actually use water for milk. I don't use, um, anything. My coach allows, um, unsweetened cashew milk or almond milk, uh, but I'm too lazy to go buy those type of things. I don't really like, I don't know. I use sugar-free creamer for my coffee, so I don't want to buy more than I have to. And water's free, water, and it doesn't taste gross to me. So water for my cereal and then... Um, yeah, I know that's weird, but I, I don't want my cereal getting soggy, so I haven't put it in yet, but yeah, I will put water in here. So water for the cereal, strawberries, and I'm going to eat this up and I have some anime. So let's everyone get up in that front relax pose. Watch her. 
we do a little transition to go into the side relax pose. All right, everyone, quarter turn to the right. Notice here, her shoulders are even. There you go, right there. Shoulders even, nice twist. Yeah, see, this is a, see, when I'm here, I was just like, hmm, and I come down here in the judge's view, I'm like, yes, okay, we're good. Okay, quarter turn. Squeeze, legs, yes. All right, come back to the front. Yeah, we're going to get Adam to fix you up. I can see this side's this coming side's up. So you can high. feel it. Yeah, now, see, now that I'm like examining everything, yeah, I can. But it's not bad, I can just tell. Yeah. Good. Good What's up, vlog? So it is Monday the 11th of April, and I am going to close this vlog out. So um, I should have done this yesterday, so I apologize. Um, and I'm kind of compiling all my videos together. So I wanted to kind of recap my busy weekend. So... Um, you saw I did a little talking video on Friday after the gym, uh, went home and relaxed. I was watching some anime and it was nice and relaxing to be honest because like I said, I had a busy weekend. So um, Saturday I went to a Pittsburgh posing seminar and um, Dougie Flex put that on and so did his coach Morgan Rice. So I wanted to give them a shout out. Um, judges uh, Gary and Bill were there two top judges that just happened to live in the Pittsburgh area. So they were there to um, give posing and advice and everything for every division. So I actually did figure and physique for fun. <laughs> so, and yes, I am in peak off season. So of course, some of these girls were getting ready for shows and were very lean. Um, the Pittsburgh is in like three weeks, uh, the Pittsburgh Championship Show and Pittsburgh Pro. So um yeah, some of these girls were very lean, but I, I definitely felt good. I mean, yes, I'm heavier, but um, that's not going to stop me from posing and practicing. And I really didn't feel that out of place, to be honest. So, um, yeah, the um, I think her name is uh, Natalie or Nat, the, uh, the the figure pro that was there. She's also coached by Morgan Rice. So um, um, she was very helpful, uh, good tips and everything. And um, she talked a lot about you know, practicing with your hair down, um, you know, being careful with your jewelry and connectors on the figure suit, um, just like a slow and confident walk, um, just a lot of things that was very beneficial and great to go to. So I'm happy I went. Um, Sarah was there. Um, and like I said, like her and I both did figure and physique. Sarah is going to be doing uh, junior nationals and I believe she will be entering both figure and physique. So she's getting her posing work for both of those. Um, but overall, it was a good day. I actually had a lot of fun learning the physique poses. Um, I've never really been taught. I've played around with some poses, but it was nice to just get some uh, like actual professional feedback and stuff. I mean, I don't want to... Uh, Sarah's the one that, you know, teaches me every once in a while. But this was nice to just kick the heels off. Um, Emily Schubert... And Brittany Lawson were the two pros doing both uh, physique and bodybuilding posing. So it was nice to be there with them. That was my first time seeing Brittany in person. Um, she's a 
Coach Muscle Nugget, I think, on Instagram. I think I have that order right, but she's super awesome, and it was nice to finally meet her. And, um, yeah, Emily Emily looks so good in her off-season, so it was awesome to watch her pose. Um, and if you want to know more about Emily Schubert, she was on uh, two podcasts to go with me. So uh, check that one out. So, yeah, it was a really good time. Like I said, I had a great weekend posing on Saturday. And then after the posing seminar, I went to the movie theater by myself and I went and saw Sonic 2 uh, just because I'm a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan and I really wanted to go and it was the only time I was going to have time for a while. So I was like, I've got to go. Um, movie was great. I loved it. So that was my Saturday. And then Sunday, um, I did my cardio and calves. I did... Um, Oh, I forgot to mention I went to the gym on Saturday and did my glutes and stuff. Uh, I didn't film anything because I was just so in the zone. And it was actually a little busy when I went because, you know, I had to, like, get in and get out so I could get ready for the posing seminar. So, um, yeah, I didn't stay too long. At well, I mean, I stayed at the gym long, but I just wasn't fooling around. So no clips of that, but it was uh, glutes and quads. And it was super hot in that gym. Um, but anyway, sorry about that. So yes, I did my cardio and calves on Sunday. I had a friend come over uh, in the afternoon and then I had a posing client at uh, five in the evening. So you'll see clips from that, Audie. She is also doing a show in three weeks, um, but she's an OCB competitor. Um, OCB is the natural, natural organization. So she will be doing the, um, I believe it's in the Baltimore area. It's the, the Maryland OCB show on May 5th. May 6th so um, I won't be able to go to her show to watch her but she's made amazing progress super proud of her and um, I'm just her posing coach uh, her coach is named Sean and um, she's looking good she's uh, like I said natural and everything and she's super determined and motivated and everything and it's like awesome to see how my posing advice has really like gained her a lot of confidence and I know that she's feeling really good about it so um yeah, excited for her. She's doing well. And um, yeah, just some some posing stuff. We were actually, now that we're getting closer to this show, her and I did some posing uh, without the mirror. So you'll see me facing the camera and she's facing away because she needed to look away from the mirror, which is really good. So when you're practicing your posing, it's really good to not rely on the mirror all the time. So um, yeah, we're at that point where we're doing more without the mirror. She's doing great. I can tell she's doing her homework and she is really passionate about this. So I didn't have to worry about her too much. And um, we had a good time last night. So um, I was supposed to record a podcast last night, um, but Cheryl had to reschedule, which was okay with me because I spent the evening relaxing and cooking and then I watched some more anime. <laughs> so I found the new one to watch. So that's that was my uh, evening last night, just relaxing for the busy work day ahead. So um, I've been busy working all morning. Now it's the uh, mid afternoon, it's 2.30 here. And um, yeah, I did some full uh, foam rolling and stretching. I feel a lot better. I was feeling really stiff. Um, I did a little stretching yesterday, but nothing, nothing worthwhile even saying, like maybe a minute. Um, so yeah, I got up, on, got down on the floor, did some foam rolling and stretching, uh, did a little bit of the massage gun, but my battery's low on that. So that's charging up. Maybe do a little bit more before I leave because today will be leg day. It is Monday. Uh, headed to go work out with Sarah. And um, yeah, this is going to be another busy week. I have a chiropractor appointment and a massage appointment. Um, so my workout schedule might be a little weird. I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet, but I, I'm just trying not to stress out about it, to be honest. So I'll figure it out when I get there. And uh, yeah, otherwise, things are going good. Um, coach didn't have much to say about check-ins, so um, went up a little bit in weight. Um, but I think I've mentioned this before, we're gonna do a mini cut next month, so I'm not too worried about it. We just did a little food bump, added some bacon to breakfast, and. It's so good. I love bacon, like turkey bacon. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, subscribe, anything that you want to mention below. I pay attention to all of it and I hope that this uh, vlog wasn't too long and annoying. So, 
I'll see you guys next time.